Hey everyone, it's been a while since Eduardo and I have filmed a video, but this is one that I've been wanting to make for a really long time. Um, I'm here to review the Shredley mountain bike shorts for women. I learned about Shredley a couple years ago when I started riding through Dusty Betty. Um, and I always felt like their shorts look so cool. But what really held me back was their price point. Um, they're each like $105 and I just couldn't bring myself to spend that kind of money. When I started mountain biking, I pretty much wore just my regular exercise shorts and um, along the way, I would try and find like the most affordable options I could, um, things that were on sale or through um, threadup.com, which is an online used clothing retailer. And yeah, those, uh, for the most part, uh, never worked out. I only have one out of maybe like four that I've purchased that I, that I actually continue to use. And all the other ones, I just I can't. They're too baggy. They're um, they the closures don't fit right. It's yeah. So back in June, I finally decided to invest in some Shredley shorts. I think what really sold me was that they say they're made in the U.S which is pretty cool. I mean, I don't have a ton of money, but when I need a product or when I want something, I I really like to support companies that don't send everything overseas, you know? They have a really awesome size chart online, but I'm really bad at measuring myself. I have a tape measure and everything, but um, I, I know that I'm usually a size two in bottom, so I just went with that. And so um, in June, when I made my order, I actually got two and I had to return one of them, but I'll get to that later. Um, and so this was the one that I picked up and this is the MTB Curvy shorts, which has an elastic waistband. And I feel like the fit is awesome. I actually do really like the waistband, mostly um, because it makes using the bathroom really easy. And then recently I picked up the regular shorts, which has the button closure. Um, and I also got the same size. So these are both size two. And overall, I feel like the fit is, is correct. This one actually fits a little bit bigger than the curvy one. And I'm sure it's because these are designed to stretch. And, and so um, I, I feel like I probably could have gone to a size zero in these. So I'm a little sad about that. They do have on the inside this strap um, and a button. So it has all these different holes that you can, um, to help you tighten it and make it a little bit more custom fit to you. Um, but when I do bring it in closer, it cinches up the waistband here. like what happens with most shorts out there that have an adjustable waistband it'll cinch up and I, I don't really like that but it's okay i've been able to uh wear my uh chamois underneath and not feel super constricted so maybe that's a big benefit of um this being just a little too loose the curvy one also has a drawstring type of feature here but i don't really I don't, I personally don't think I, I, I don't need it. Um, uh, but what I noticed too is when you pull at it, okay, you pull at it and then when you sit into your pants, it stretches back out. So I don't, I don't know. I haven't taken the time to look into it to see what's going on and how to make this actually stay put. But these shorts, they feel great. The material is a bit thicker and just they feel so much more durable than the ones that I've bought before. They've got this side pocket with a button, you can fit a phone. Um, the pockets inside are really quite deep and they fit really snug. And so um, I don't really ride with things in, in my pockets, but um, sometimes I, I will throw like my Garmin in there and it's super snug. They won't go, it, your things won't go anywhere. They also have this, these little vent zippers. I've only, opted to open up my vents like once. I don't I don't really know that I feel a huge difference, especially if you're wearing a chamois underneath. I don't know that I would notice a whole lot of more airflow on those hot days, but it's nice. Since I just recently got this, it's only gone through one wash, but it looks great. And um, these ones I've washed many times and holding up great. Yeah, I wash these on hand 
the hand wash cycle and sometimes I'll tumble dry low or I'll just hang dry. I try to look online and um, I don't think that they have any care instructions. So that's what I do. So far so good. Okay, so the biggest complaint I probably have about these shorts all of their bottoms have this really big logo that just kind of, it just kind of flaps in the back. Um, and it just seems like something I should be able to rip off, you know? I wish it could have been an embroidered logo that would have looked so much more clean. Or maybe, you know, just embroider your, the super cool uh, image here. But it, it's really not that big of a deal, I guess, because, you know, your shirts or your jackets go over them anyway, but. Okay, so when I made my first order that included these shorts back in June, um, the second pair, I think it was the Shauna, it was also the curvy uh, line, but the threading um, seemed to not be as secure as these ones. And so like here in the pockets, like particularly the side pocket, actually it kind of looks like it's happening on this one. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's this thread here that holds the corner of the pocket and the, the sh other pair of shorts that I got, it was really loose. If I like pulled at the pocket just a little bit, I could see that thread was going to pop. Um, and so I wasn't really stoked about that. And then on that drawstring here, here at the corners of the other pair, um, it was tearing. So when I pulled at this, it tugged at this corner in a, in a way that like it was literally pulling these seams apart and it was, there, it was tearing. Like I would imagine that over time, the strain on that corner could potentially just pull at this entire band. So I actually reached out to them and sent them my pictures and explained and basically asked if I could return them or, or exchange them or something. And they were super responsive. They were very thorough. They, they really stood by their products, but also explained that there could be defects in them. And, you know, they were really honest. And what was really nice in the end was that they offered, um, you know, free return. I didn't have to pay for the return. They just sent me a, a packing a shipping slip. And um, they even gave me a coupon code to get free shipping on my next order. And that's how I got these ones. Um, and yeah, so I, I really was happy to see how responsive and kind they were. I ended up buying another pair. I mean, I, I really love these and I'm um, excited to have another one. Yeah, I would totally recommend these shorts for anyone. Um, I know it's a lot of money, but for me personally, I would rather invest money into shorts that will fit me and will last. And these are so awesome. They've been really great. My favorite shorts that I have, um, hands down. And um, I know that uh, Shredley just came out with some new models or uh, new designs. They came out with pants and I am going to buy that as soon as I can here. I hope this video helps someone out there who's interested in, in these. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye.